What's really stopping you from chasing your dream? Is it the art of failure? Is it the possibility that you may fail? What makes you think that failure is not a part of success? The reason why I decided to chase my dream is because I wanted to be rich. When I say I want to be rich, I'm not talking about money. To me, being rich means you wake up and you do what you want to do. It means you wake up and you don't have to answer to people. It means you are your own boss. It means you control your time. You control your destiny. You control when you take a flight, when you take a day off, if you get up early if you get up late I absolutely hate being controlled I hate being marginalized I hate being boxed in to what other people think I can or cannot do I hate other people telling me I can't do something I hate other people telling me I can't be somewhere I hate when I don't have money I hate when I can't go places I hate when I can't experience new foods I hate when I can't get into the club I hate being told no when I was 21 I went to the club the guy told me I couldn't get in because I wasn't fly enough I didn't have the right clothes on I had baggy jeans holding in my shirt my clothes weren't ironed I looked like a bomb he said no girl will talk to you coming if you come in here looking like that I'm not even gonna let you in here he said when you come here you, you need to be the flyest dude in here and him him telling me that changed my life it told me something it told me that I need to have confidence and it told me that I need to feel good it told me that I need to look good it told me that I need to aspire to understand that life is good but life is only as good as you make it I took it upon myself because I hate being controlled and I hate being at the bottom and I told myself Sylvester. I told myself it was more important for me to chase my dreams than to chase a paycheck. I told myself that it's okay if I end up homeless, if I end up broke, but as long as I chase my dream, as long as I chase my dreams, my desires, and my purpose here on this earth, then everything is okay. Win, lose, or draw. I really only had two dreams in my life. My first dream was to become a professional athlete. I wanted to be an NFL football player. I thought that would have been the greatest thing of all time. And although I did not play in the NFL, I did play arena football. It was much less money, smaller crowds. I reached that dream. I played arena football for three years. My second biggest dream was to write movies in Hollywood. I wanted to be a director and write screenplays. I'm doing that now. I'm not writing movies in Hollywood, but I am writing books. And to me, that is the same thing. I have I have five books out right now, international best-selling books. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm writing stories. And the reason I wanted to write stories for Hollywood is because I wanted to write inspirational movies. I wanted to inspire people. I wanted people to get up off their couch. I wanted people to turn the TV off. And I wanted people to start risking everything they have. I wanted people to put themselves out there to chase their art, to chase their dream, to chase the girl, to chase the guy, to chase the happiness, to chase the peace, to get out of the depression. That is the reason I wanted to write movies. And although I did not go down that path as an adult, what I, what I did do is turn myself into a self-published author, five-time self-published author. I left my corporate job because being an author, being a writer is more important to me than being at that job they had me at where I was suffering, where I was in depression, where my ideas didn't matter, where I was nothing but a cog in a system and I was irrelevant. That's just me. I had to go. And now with my books, my books inspire people and that's all I want to do. That's all I want to do with this video. I want to inspire you to chase your dream, to go get the girl, to start the business, to start the brand, to start the blog, to start the website. You got to start it. And then once you start it, you got to finish it. I was looking up one of my favorite favorite YouTubers. I looked on his page. He has 975 videos. That motivates me. That motivates me to know that he has 975 videos. Notice I didn't talk about his subscriber count. That's what most people do. He has 200,000 subscribers. That's amazing, but I don't care about that. I'm looking at the work ethic it takes to have 975 videos and that motivates me. That inspires me. So my question to you is, let's just use the number 975. How much much of that effort have you put into yourself, into your dream, into your goal? Have you written 975 poems? Have you written 975 songs? Have you been to the gym 975 times? Have you been told no 975 times by people? Have you promoted your book 975 times? You own a food blog. Have you posted 975 pictures of your food blog? Now you get it. Now you understand. Chase your dreams, but don't expect it to come with little effort. Don't expect it to come just because you think you're deserving of it. Put the 975 number in your brain and lock it in there. Now, my goal is to get to 975. Again, I didn't mention money. I didn't mention subscriber count. I didn't mention the status. I mentioned the work. I mentioned the desire. That's where you need to focus. I hope you get there. Peace.